नमस्कार वेलकम टू माय टॉक टुडे ऑन कनक चंपा ट्री व्हिच इज कॉल्ड मेपल लिफ्ट बेयर ट्री आल्सो सिंपली कॉल्ड बेयर ट्री एंड आल्सो इट इज कॉल्ड डिनर प्लेट ट्री बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स बिग साइज लीफ द बोटॅनिकल नेम ऑफ कनक चंपा ट्री इज कॉल्ड टेरोस्पर्मम एसरीफोलियम दिस नेम इज गिवन बिकॉज इट प्रोड्यूसेस विंगड सीड्स एंड its leaf looks like the leaves of a maple tree so i'll show the tree first it is a very aesthetic tree generally grown along the road side and in the tree park and gardens so let us see the tree first how it looks and i am standing on the road side tree at a place called devanahalli in bangalore rural district and it is also found in proper bangalore city in karnataka and commonly seen in major cities in india calcutta delhi mumbai also and in many other cities it is a popular tree because of its ornamental value it is a very beautiful evergreen tree and it has got large size leaves you can see here also i can show this tree is still blooming in the month of november even though generally this tree blooms during march july but in devanahalli condition at bangalore rural district i find that this tree uh, some uh, kanak champa tree is still blooming see the leaf upper surface of the leaf uh, is uh, dark green and glossy and lower surface it is a uh, light gray and uh, slowly it becomes a silvery color particularly in winter season after the rain and it becomes very beautiful and when the flower dries up you can see the golden color again very beautiful you can look at the uh, even tree the golden uh, dried flower are there and even if you see the leaf dried leaf how beautiful it is this golden in color this is a upper surface like a gold color and then the upper surface again silver you see silvery color so it's very beautiful lower surface you can see, see how it turns into silvery color slow and you can see the bud here small bud this is called uh, i can show here this this is a bud you can see flower bud it opens same and uh, this flower cup it is called flower cup it uh, peels off this peels off like a banana skin see and ultimately exposes the beautiful white colored white colored uh, flower the buds open during night time the flower you can see tubular shaped white flower on a flower cup and these slowly these uh, these are actually this cup the five uh, segments are there it becomes golden color like this ultimately and from distance you can say golden color view of this uh, it is a capsule in a big size it has got five angle 1 2 3 4 5 5 five angles are there and if we split it uh, you can see the inner side of the inner side of the fruit here actually the seeds are found here seeds are found here the seeds are wing seeds seeds are winged and how they are arranged inside the fruit you can see it outside of the fruit uh, actually it is a dark uh, gray color conox champa tree can grow up to 24 meter in height and 1.5 meter to 2.5 meter in girth with clean cylindrical bole of 9 to 12 meter 
Its nocturnal flowers attract moth insects for pollination. Bats also visit this tree. As far as distribution is concerned, Konaksampa tree is indigenous to Southeast Asia, from India to Burma. In India, the tree is native of sub Himalayan tract and it occurs in, in Uttar Pradesh, North Bengal, and Assam. In Assam, it occurs in mixed evergreen forest. It is indigenous in Ramnagar hills in Bihar. It also partly occurs in Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, and in selected district of Karnataka, Maharashtra, Kerala, and Sikkim. The tree naturally grows along forested streams, river banks, in swamp forest, and in dam valleys. It is moderate shade bearer, but grows well in open areas. It prefers moisture retentive fertile soils. It is fairly frost hardy. It coppices well and produces root suckers. About its uses, the leaves of Konaksampa tree are ideal for making eco-friendly dinner plates, soup bowls, and also for using as wrapping materials for packing and storage. Leaves are also used as inner lining of thatched roof, as cattle fodder, and as a tinder material. Its leaf is also considered as non-timber forest produce. If flowers are kept inside cloth, impart a pleasant perfume and also keep away insects. Its funnel shaped beautiful flowers also can be used as indoor decorative item. It is mentioned in the Bhagavatam that the golden pendant Kanaka Sampa flowers adorned ears of Lord Krishna. Regarding its wood, its sapwood is white and hardwood is light pinkish red. The wood is not very strong but moderately hard and takes good polish. Its timber should be properly treated before using for making furniture, planking, turnery, for paneling, ornamental boxes and moisture proof plywood and packing cases. Outdoor use of its wood is to be avoided due to its low resistance to decay. As medicinal use, Konaksampa tree has wide range of applications in Indian medicine. Leaves are used for the treatment of diabetes. The soft and hairy undersurface of leaves are used to stop bleeding. In earlier days, both bark and leaves were used as remedy for smallpox. Still, they are used to treat wounds and itching. The flowers are used to treat hemicranial headache, that is one side pain in head, ulcers, tumors, leprosy, and blood diseases. A good tonic is also prepared from flowers of this tree. As per recent research report, its bark extract has anti-cancer potential in lung and pancreatic cells line. Konaksampa tree is also suitable for planting in green belt in urban areas. It is reported as an excellent performer in reducing air pollution and also as a good carbon sequestrator. Hence, it is ideal for planting in highly polluted cities for modulation of environmental temperature. Due to its dense canopy, it gives good shed and reduce sound pollution also. Lastly, let me talk about its propagation. The species prefers humid climate. The tree can be propagated through stumps, cuttings, seedlings and direct chewing. However, it is commonly propagated from seeds. Its fruits take about one year to mature. Seeds are collected in April, which remain viable for a year. Germination capacity is 60 to 70 percent. In one kg of seeds, we can get about 4,000 seeds. Seeds are sown in nursery beds in April, May. Seeds germinate in 10 to 82 days. When the seedlings attain 2 to 4 cm height in mother bed, they are pricked and transplanted in container bags. 2 feet height seedlings can be used for field planting. However, for roadside planting, tall seedlings should be raised in bigger size bags. Seedlings can be planted at 5 to 8 meter apart depending on size. Seedlings also can be planted in bigger sized container for ornamental purpose. 
Thus, trees like Kanak Sampa are a wonderful gift of nature to mankind. It is worth mentioning to note that the Department of Post in India issued a commemorative postage stamp on Kanak Sampa tree in the year 2009. Let us grow this valuable tree. Thank you very much for patient hearing.